Hello and welcome to Jackson Appliance Repair Orlando.com and I'm Harold. Uh, a lot of people like to do it themselves. They like to change their water pumps on their front load washing machines if it has an access panel at the bottom. But what they don't know is how to test the water pump. Now you can test the water pump in the machine or out of the machine. So if you take it out of the machine, I'm going to show you an easy way to check the water pump to see if it's working properly and uh, causing your issue of not draining the water from your washing machine. So this is a typical this is a typical electric water pump from a wash front load washing machine. And what I've done, and I carry it with me on my truck, I've made out of a lamp cord a little jumper wire. And sometimes if the washing machine has water in it, I will just take the little panel off the front, plug this into the water pump, plug it into the outlet, and pump the water out if the pump's working. But if, uh, if you've already got the water out and you want to test the pump, make sure you have wires with insulators on them so you don't get shocked. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, don't do it because it does have 120 volts going to it. Before we test, I want to tell you one more thing. Most motors should have a sticker on them. They all should have a sticker on them. And make sure that it's 120 volts before you plug it in because if it's a different voltage, you might damage the pump if it is good. So, we are going to plug this into the pump. They're really insulated really good because it's actually a wiring harness off of the old machine that we uh, recycled and so we no longer need that wiring harness so I repurposed it for this. So now <clears throat> I have my extension cord here and I'm just going to hold the pump in my hand. You can see the impellers here and it's, it's still on the shaft good. So now we're just going to plug it in and see how it works. See, that works pretty good. Don't want to run it too long because these pumps are not all of them, but most of them are water cooled around the, the motor. So you don't want to run it too long without it being installed in the machine. You don't want to put it in water to test it. You just want to test it dry, just like this. And that's it. If the pump's working good, it's not making a lot of noise, the shaft's not wobbling, there's a good chance that your pump is still good. So, you know, reinstall the pump and you have another problem. Check for a clogged line or something like that. So this is Harold with Jackson Appliance Repair, Orlando.com. Thank you for viewing my video and I hope you have a great day. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the video and I'll have another one for you soon. You guys have a great day.